Om Shanti, welcome to 26th of June's Godly Blessing where Supreme Godfather wants us to become greatly fortunate and we should be able to show others the line of fortune on our face and also God says through our actions. So let's see what does he exactly mean to say over here. Godfather says, may you be greatly fortunate and show the line of your fortune on your face and actions. So he says in the details, you Brahmin children have received this alokic birth, which is a spiritual birth. Once we get to know the knowledge about the soul, the self, that is, and our previous births and what is going to happen in the future, the past and the present, we have a spiritual birth. So you Brahmin children have received this alokic birth directly from the eternal father. That means Supreme God father, when he comes, he tells us about our own physical and non-physical life on this earth and how we were spiritual beings and now we have become body conscious beings that's the time we get the knowledge from the supreme father and we become spiritually awakened so we got this birth directly from the eternal father that is the supreme god father or you can call him in any way as an energy or a power and the original father that is brahma baba or adam so those who have taken this birth from the bestower of fortune are so fortunate. So if we consider ourselves to be souls, then we are fortunate enough. If we accept this knowledge, then we are fortunate enough. So by keeping your elevated fortune constantly in your awareness, you remain cheerful. That I am a soul and I have been understood as a being from the Supreme Creator. The Supreme Creator looks at me as a soul and he too is a supreme being, the supreme consciousness the supreme soul and with this kind of understanding that the god father has searched me instead of me searching for god father in all over the world he himself has shown his own presence his own name his own form to me and revealed himself to me before the end of days so how fortunate can i be so god then says this way you can remain cheerful experience being an embodiment of this awareness in a practical way and let it also be visible to others from your face and in your every activity that yes cheerfulness is there in any kind of form nothing can deter me from being on the path of happiness no consequences no kind of actions of other people no kind of situation of other people can actually make me sway away from godly love godly happiness and what I have received from God. Then Supreme Father says, let the line of this fortune be sparkling in the center of your forehead. So as it is in India, we say that if you've got a line over here, that means you are very lucky. You are a wise being or you've got a lot of fortune. So the line of fortune is there or the sparkle of fortune is there over here. That is at the center of the forehead where we souls reside. And we souls have received the knowledge of the self and of the Supreme Creator, the Supreme Spark, the Supreme Light, which is God. And getting that knowledge leads to a sparkle in the center of the forehead. And you will then be said to be a greatly fortunate soul. So when we remember that I am a being and I have been revealed to myself because we don't know who we are. If you ask yourself a question, who am I? Then we'll give you a physical name, your physical birthplace, we'll you know, give you a physical family history. But who you are really, other than this physical body, is what most of us don't know. And when we get to know this knowledge that I am a being, I am a soul, I am an energy, and I am not this physical body, that's where a spiritual birth happens. We are awakened spiritually. And God is the one who gives us this new birth, a spiritual birth, not a physical birth, because of which we feel fortunate enough. Yes, at least I've come to know who I am. My own identity is revealed to me with the help of God, with His grace. And that makes us fortunate souls. And then there's a sparkle of fortune on our forehead. If you remember this also throughout the day, we remain fortunate enough and we remain happy and content throughout. You too can feel the same by getting to know the Brahma Kumari 7-day course of Raj Yoga and getting to know who you are your previous births, what you were doing and what this world drama is all about. It's all revealed through the medium of Brahma Kumaris. With this, Om Shanti.